thing took five minutes. <laughs> oh, you guys. Okay, well, I was gonna, I was gonna get a snack before, uh, before that, but I guess, I guess that's what we're living with. those right now? Whatever. <laughs> okay. Well. Let's get cookie cracking, eh? guys can hear the music. Thank you. 
turn my gain up a bit so it's easier to hear me. Hopefully that helps. I need to be in the yellow and everything else needs to be in like the lower green I think. I assume it's not going to have the uh, 
the skull. I'll make that a moon instead, I think. God damn it, I need to zoom out a little bit. There we go. <laughs> no, that's not centered. Try that again. So. Oh, I see. So those bits underneath are what, like mechanical sinew? But you can see them between the plates. Okay. I'll just make it a circle. Looks like it's got the bumpies. So, uh... Oh, it just looks...
That is too wide of a line. Or narrow. Too narrow of a line. <laughs> too Nero of a line. There we go. Alrighty. Rivet, rivet, rivet. We got a crotch Dorito. He's got gauntlets that have individual digits, because of course they do.
da, da. Okay. Gotta put some armor on his elbow. Choo, choo, choo. No, that glyph does not look right. <laughs> Angles are hard sometimes. It does kind of look like that though. It's just a weird angle. Ah! Not in the hand. You gotta love, gotta love when your stuff won't cooperate with you because user error is a thing. Okay. So it's literally just, gosh, the line art always makes it look so messy. <sighs> Okay. Oh. No, okay, I didn't forget that detail. I do need to do this, however. There we go. There's a lot of detail in this. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So maybe I'll flat color it and then I will figure out where the heck I'm adding stuff. So how about we turn off the person? Which is all going to look horrifying for a second. Okay, cool. Oh, right. I should probably... Here, let's... should probably actually line that so it makes sense. There we go. Okay, looks like all the lines are enclosed. Excellent. That's all coloring, so we will... What colors did he say it was? Okay, so I finished chips. Mm. Black and gray, okay. All right, so let's do Actually, since he's a Twilight Domain cleric, let's go for a cool, a cool color. Make it a little bit darker, I think.
Let's see. Well, it's a spot clean, but whatever. It happens. Wrong layer.
We're giving details. It's so much easier to clean up your lines when you can actually see what the fuck it looks like. Let's see, so he said red, uh, black and what? Just black and gray, huh? Okay.
four. There we go. Okay, let's add some gray accent, shall we? Let's make it... We want to make a distinguishable gray from the rest of it, I think. So... Oh, I forgot to add rivets. Hold on. Let me add some rivets real quick to these parts. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the only place I want to add rivets to. Because the other part you can't see. Looks good to me. Make sure there aren't any freaking rivets on these pauldrons. Mm, just a couple little hidden ones. Like right there and right there. Okay. Well, so Nero, did I not add any? <laughs> I love making them bald. It's so fun. Uh, does not look like I added any... Hmm, I need to fix that real quick. Let's see. So this is your line art. Yes, yes, that's your line art. So real quick, we're going to go in here. I'm just going to add a couple details real quick. There we go. Just add a couple details. Make them look a little bit more fleshed out, you know what I mean? And then we'll just boop. I could have just done that on, on the... Uh, on the line art layer, but uh, I suffer from commitment issues, guys. So, alrighty, back to this. Okay, let's go ahead and add the gray. Make this a tad bit bigger so that we can play with it a bit. Okay, so let's make, let's accent the bits gray. Okay, then we'll accent Let's do just the fingertips gray. I think that'd be pretty cool. Then we'll do these elbow parts gray. The accents will be gray. This music is putting me to sleep. It's not much better, but whatever. At least it's got some fun sounds to it. Do, 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 do. I'm not on the wrong layer, am I? No. Okay, excellent. Oh, 
I'll make it all pretty in a second, but I'm just trying to get the accent color on first. Let's see. And the rivets will be silver. Elbows will be silver. Okay, what else do we want to accent here? Honestly, it's kind of minimal looks good on this one. Hmm. We'll do this uh, this bit real quick. We'll do this. Oh, I see why I separated that. Oopsie. Here, so what we'll do is we will Okay, that looks good to me. Oh, oops. There we go. Ah, oh, damn it, I did that on the wrong layer.
Let's see, am I gonna commit? Ooh, I'm probably gonna commit. Okay. to on his hair I need to do some like silver sort of highlights Let's see. Oh, okay, it is that glow. Good, good, good. Okay. Just doing some hair stuff. What is? <laughs> Let's see. Where is the... Did I do it right? Let's see. Prominent streaks of silver. So it's not just highlights. It's straight up streaks. Okay. Well, let's fix that then. Nope, that doesn't look right. Let's fix that up a bit. Actually, hold on. Let's make a new layer real quick and then we'll add it on. That actually makes it look like it's a... Uh... Just blend that just a little bit. Oh, <laughs> thank you, whoever you are, to uh, gift me for giving me outside. Oh, hey, Sarge, how you doing, hon? No, I'm here lurking. Don't do that. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's okay. Most people lurk when they watch me draw. It's all good. I mean, at the very least, say hi. <laughs> uh, but thank you for gifting a stub. It's appreciated. <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. 
I guess I should have said hi. I guess so. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, no. You don't say hi, you get gifted a sub. <laughs> okay. I feel like those streaks are good. I think with the silver highlights that I did, it gives it a lot of texture. Maybe I should make them just a tad bit thicker, though. Nope. I want it to go along with the grain of the hair, so. Because streaks, they don't necessarily always stay in perfect place, so. There we go. How goes the art? Not so bad. Take a look. Look at, uh, look at Nero so far. I think that I'm going to be putting... I think I'm going to be putting the uh, details for the moons on his on his thing, on his uh, armor, which I just finished just a minute ago. Um, and then I'm going to... And then I think I'm going to be good with, like, highlight and detail, like highlight and shadow. I think then we'll be good after that. Um, I think it's good, but I'm not sure if who am I again is, like like available for me to like message him and be like, Hey, this looks, uh, this is what it looks like to me. Like, do you need me to tweak anything? I'm, I'm not sure if he'll be available for me to do that. So, um, I'm just gonna do what I can. Oh, wait, did I already commit? I already committed. Gosh, darn it. Um, but I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna like finish it, finish it all off. I'll save the, the file where I can edit it if I need to and then be like hey so what do you think tell me tell me there we go cool yeah he uh this is the power armor the elusive power armor that he was telling me about Alrighty, so I think ladies oh my gosh it does it looks so different with the streaks in there holy shit okay so I think that we can commit that to the hair layer. <laughs> and then do I want to salt and pepper a couple, a little bit of white in his fade? That's the question. Probably like a little bit, you know what I mean? Just like, just a, a small bit. That way I can just a little bit of, just a little, little pepper, just a little pepper. A little pepper there we go a little bit of pepper in the fade a spattering a smidge if you will yes <laughs> all righty okay yes let's let's stop getting distracted and go on to the shading portion now before we do anything you need to make sure okay good it's not oh wait it is on ad glow. Okay, let's go to normal. <laughs> uh, okay. So time for, okay, so this is metal armor. Metal armor is a hard surface. It's going to have a harder shadow than most stuff. So. That is too, that's too kind of a shadow. Hmm. Let's. Yes, that actually looks a lot better to me. So we're just gonna up this a bit. Okay. Oh wait, the problem with doing it that that dark. Okay, I'm just gonna hold on. I'm going to make it a little bit opaque so you can still see the lines. Heh <laughs> 69. Uh, there we go. Okay. That part will be able to be seen 
right there by the light source so that can stay oh wait that's cloth so that's going to have a softer shadow so we'll leave that be for now down a bit I like to be I would I would like precision when I'm doing like shading and coloring and stuff so it's one of those things where like if it comes between me having like a big brush and doing shading or um, having a little brush and doing shading I tend to prefer a larger br or smaller brush so I can be precise ah shit undo that last part the blend tool giveth and the blend tool taketh away. Yes, blend tool, yes. Okay. There we go. There we go. And then let's see, do some shadow right here. Shadow right there. Shadow right there. Some good shadow right here. Let's see here. I feel like I'm missing a line. I am missing a line. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> oh, I'm missing a line. I am. And I'm doing all of. Oh, no, 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 no. Shit. <laughs> Wrong layer, guys. Wrong layer. <laughs> oh, I did not add a second layer for the, ha the shading. That is bad because I was doing all of this directly on the armor and that's not good. Okay, I was able to undo it. Good, good, good. Now, first off, we need to add a freaking line connecting his arm <laughs> because I forgot to do that. <laughs> oh, goodness. There we go. Now it looks better. Uh, let's... Let's just, uh, I've been lurking, uh, I've been enjoying this looking over, oh. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Um, I, I've been, I'm not sure if you know why I started doing the Mythos characters or, you know, just streaming in general, but I didn't want you guys to be left out. <laughs> so I, um, so I wanted to make sure you all got characters too. I need that. I try to have rather chill streams. Ah! No! Nero, you're not allowed to have skin. Uh. Ch -ch -ch -ch. <laughs> oh, and if you ever feel the need to lurk 97, if you come in and say hi, there is a lurk command. So you can just do exclamation lurk and then you, you do your thing. But if you want to chat, I'm always here. Mostly my art streams are just me drawing and chilling and hanging out. So don't even worry about it. No pressure. Uh, okay. Now, now that I've got the arm actually put in, 
<laughs> now that I've got that put in, let's actually do some shading and make sure we do it on a different layer because that's what you're supposed to do. You put it on a different layer and then after it's all done, then you put it all together. That's what you do. Okay. Uh, what am I doing with my life? Ah, getting rid of all my stuff apparently. Um, uh, when I'm in new places, I usually just set back for weeks. There's nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that at all. Like, the fact that you're here and you're hanging out, that's enough for me. Just make sure you say hi. I like to know that you're, I like to know that you've at least shown up and you're like, oh, hey, just letting you know I'm saying hi. And then I go, oh, okay. And then I go about my business and you hang out and we all have a good time. But I won't pressure you if you just don't want to say hi. <laughs> okay. Well, then, if that's the case, if you end up popping in after lurking for like a while and you say hi or you don't ever say hi at all, that's okay. The fact that you're here makes me happy, and I'm glad that you're enjoying it. That That's good enough for me. <laughs> uh, shit, what color was I using? I was using straight black, but with lower opacity. Right, 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 right. Turn down that fucking opacity, and we're going to, you know what, we're going to make it 69 because, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> like how Sarge just accidentally, like, outed you. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, alrighty. It's good that you're here though, because I'm planning on starting Phenos tonight too, and it'll be good to have your feedback. Like if I start doing something and it doesn't look quite right, you could be like, hey, can we change this? And I'll be like, oh yeah, absolutely. I like when people are in chat because then it helps me out. Are you excited? <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go in. I'm just gonna do like block shadows. I have to go get some sleep. Oh, oh shit, dude, I'm sorry. No worries, how about this? Since it seems to be taking so long to do Nero, I'll just do Nero tonight and then the next time I stream next week, hopefully you're feeling better and we can go from there. Either way, it takes a while to do outlines. So, I mean, even if, even if you're needing to get sleep, like, I could always do it later. I could always just start the outline and then later on it could be all good. No! Hun, don't feel bad at all whatsoever. You are literally sick? <laughs> literally. Oh. I, I hope so. I just want to do it justice, you know what I mean? Because Phenos is just such a, like, sad, sweet baby and I want to make sure I draw him right. <laughs> see do a shadow right here a shadow right here a bit of a shadow right there yeah definitely get better like don't you worry about hanging around here I can always draw stuff later or do base stuff that you won't have to worry about like you're all good you just get better that's what you need to focus on Oopsie. <laughs> you gotta get you some soup, my dude. Let's see. Some right here. I need Crazy Joe sneaking up behind him. <laughs> Just he has a nervous look on his face. <gasps> I'm getting raided! <laughs> Hi! Thank you for subscribing, Nova. Dragon raid. Dragon. <gasps> Loan, you're here too! Yay! Hi! <laughs> Everyone's coming in at the right time. A choo-choo. 
Oh, okay. Well, good night, 97. I don't think I've ever had Hype Train before. I hope you feel better. It's like Smash Bros up in the stream. I know, right? All right. Oh. We got like four minutes for a for a uh, hype train. So if you guys want to do that, that'd be awesome. Some biddies or some subs or whatever, that'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, freaking Nero's looking pretty damn good if I do say so myself. <gasps> Yay! Thank you for the biddies. We got that hype train. I don't have a fun song like shit. I don't have a, a fun song like like uh. Like Nova does. Uh... <laughs> ah! Thank you, Biggest. I appreciate you. <laughs> uh, crap. What can I do for a hype train? I've never had this happen before. Uh... <laughs> oh, Magic, thank you. <laughs> uh... I don't know what to do. Uh, we just finished that campaign. It was great. Yeah, I was, um, I was lurking. Uh, I was lurking on my phone so that I could hear it without, uh, Messing with the audio while I was streaming. I got to hear it. I like how Imagine was like... Or not Imagine. Uh, Imagine's on my brain, apparently. Um, apparently, uh, Logic was like, No, I want to play more! I love when she gets excited or angry because then the mic just cannot understand, like, comprehend her. It's wonderful. Oh, thank you for gifting a sub! Ah, we hit the next thing of the hype train. I still don't know what to do. Uh, I got jams that are hype, but they're all from the game Guilty. Ooh, Guilty Gear I here has a really good, uh, a really good thingy. We'll get her off of there. <laughs> Just imagine on the brain. I'm imagining imagine. I mean, if she wants to be there, she can stay there. We got the level two of the hype train. That's freaking awesome. Thank you guys so much. Chugga chugga, bitches. Chew. Chew. Let's see. Bitches uh, affectionate, for the record. There we go. I know this isn't as uh, as jam packed as a Call of Cthulhu game, but how'd the rest of it go? There are some bits that I didn't quite get to hear, Nova. So hopefully, hopefully most of it went pretty well. I did get to see the part where, uh... oh, yes, for the record. Um... I did get to see the part where you essentially banned her from the table after she got shot in the head, like, cold-blooded. Oh, okay. Let's see. Do a little bit there. Do a nice shadow right here. Gotta get them harsh shadows because this is a hard surface. Some, see, the thing is, I, I really love this armor, but at the same time, there's uh, so many layers to shadow. So let's do a shadow, like right here, I think. Yeah, like right here. And one right here. So much shading but that also means that there's going to be a lot of um a lot of shinies to put in here too so that'll be fun okay okay let's see because the shadow is coming from the right uh honestly oh shit i forgot to do something oopsie 
Uh, I need to put, let's turn that off for a second. I need to put the, um, I need to put the moons on there because he specifically said that there are moons on here. So, hmm, let's draw them in like a lighter silver. <laughs> Hi, <-fo. laughs> And I think what we'll do is we'll do like a, like a darker and then we'll just, Ooh, I could do it like this and then give it a little bit. No, hold on. I need to fix that last bit. So I'll do that and then I'll give it a little bit of a shadow and hopefully, hopefully that'll make it look like embossed. Ah, I'm not trying to make this look like the freaking moon from uh, Soul Eater. We're trying to make this look good. Okay, well, this is fun. Uh... Oh, okay. Well, uh, welcome back. We are attempting to draw moons that don't look ridiculous on Nero's armor. It's not going well, but we're trying. I got a hype train emote. It's a kitty. It's so cute. <laughs> Didn't realize you could get emotes from that. Okay, well, that's going to have to freaking do. Um, now, what we'll do is we'll take, I think, maybe like a darker gray. And then we make it smaller than what's right here. What's right here. And give it a little bit of shading. So it looks like it was cut in. See, here's the thing. He's got the gray streaks in his hair. <laughs> um, when I showed it to him, like the, the base, right? Not the stuff with the armor in it. Um, he told me that it looked perfect. Like I didn't add any wrinkles or anything. Also, I can barely see what the hell I'm doing. Um, I didn't add any wrinkles or anything, and he's like, yeah, looks good. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you like it. So maybe he's not as old as you think. <laughs> hmm. I need this to be sharper, so I'm going to need to do this instead. Hmm. Also, I'm gonna need a darker gray. There we go. Ah, perfect. Okay, that's the effect I was going for. It was just taking me a second to do what I wanted it to do and using the right tool usually helps. Uh, <laughs> Your self-destruct toddler made it worse. <laughs> He's not that bad. Okay, let's see. So let's use this gray to do the rest of the phases of the moon. Let's see. He... I'm going to cheat just a little bit. Just a smidge. Can we undo that? Thank you. Hmm. What am I doing? I can lasso. No! Stop it! Ay, ay, ay. Work with me here, CSP. Work with me. Actually, cancel because I need to. I need to make that a little bit more oval, is what I need to do. Because it's coming from the side. Okay, now we select it, and how did I tilt it like that? I don't know, but I can fix it. Like 
right about there. Okay. <laughs> well, wild child you were, he is. 24-7. All day, every day. Don't let him fool you. Actually, I need to center that a little bit more. Nope, come this way. There we go. So what I figure I could do here, hopefully it looks good, hopefully I'm able to make it work out, but what I wanna do is I want to, fuck, I was about to motion with my hands, but you guys can't see them. Uh, so like, in like an arch, sorta, is what I wanna try to do. So, let's fill that pupper up, and then realize that we didn't mess with the, the ratios to fill that in properly and then fix these stupid fraying edges because I need to work my equipment better, but I don't because I am lazy. <laughs> okay, and I'll put all the details for the moons in in a bit, but first I just wanna get the, the freaking uh, shapes down. So then, ah oh crap, I have to look at the phases of the moon. Hold on. <laughs> Who is your, oh, phases of the cell? No, not that. Okay, so. I figured it was that, you know, I took an astronomy class and it was obviously not helpful. <laughs> Okay, so we'll do we'll do a crescent over here, I think. That'll have to do. Then what we're gonna do, because again, we're lazy, we're gonna take that and we're gonna copy it and we're gonna paste it. And then we're gonna fold, oh, nope, not that. We're gonna take it, we're gonna flip it, we're gonna move it over here <laughs> because that makes my life easier. Except we gotta move it up a little bit and move it that way. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> you can tell I flipped it. <laughs> Hold on, let me try to even this out a little bit so it looks a little less flipped. <laughs> Is that, see, the thing is there is somewhere. I don't know how to do it. I haven't learned yet. I don't usually end up having to use the mirror thing. Oh wait, yes there is, and I do technically know how to do it. Uh, it's also a bitch to turn off though. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, I'll still try it. So let's, let's merge those layers real quick. And then, let's see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Plane. No, we're not doing any vector lines right now. Where the hell? I know it's here somewhere. No, I don't need a gradient right now. Speed. No, I don't need that. Although that's fun to know that that exists there. Well, I did know where the, where the uh, mirror was. I've forgotten, apparently, but I do know it exists. Oh, well, uh, we're just going to do this the hard way. Uh, and then there's a new moon. <laughs> See, I've learned a couple times and then I almost like immediately forget. Like it just goes out of my brain and I just lose it. Uh, okay, so actually these... This needs to be a bit further off, I think. And then... Like right over... 
over there, I think. Yes. Cool. I'll reposition them in a bit. Uh, no, I'm going to reposition them now because I'm... I'm not going to like that. Realistically, the crescent moon should be the last phase. So it should be over here. So there's crescent quarter, no, crescent half, three fourths full. It's gonna be interesting to do. I've... Okay, so you know what? I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. Oh my god, please. Yes, apply the transformation. Thank you. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, but uh, we're, th we're thinking of it now. So... Undo that, please. Nope, still not right. Yes, I don't know why we didn't think about this sooner. Uh, also, why is it still moving? What the hell? Why we didn't think of doing it this way sooner? God only knows. However, we have now thought of it. There's no going back. We have finally done the smart and we are moving on with our lives. I feel like all the time I'm gonna have for tonight is for Nero. And plus I want 97 to be here. He seemed pretty excited. Although he also told me that he was gonna love it no matter what. <laughs> So we're going to just erase this shame over here. Erase that. And then... Yeah, that can stay like that. We just want to... We're going to do the same thing. We're going to copy. We're going to paste. We're going to flip it and move. And what we're going to do on this side is we're going to transform it a little bit. Just see if maybe I can squish it just a smidge in like the right way. Yeah, that'll do. Looks good to me. Um, actually, <laughs> I keep saying that, right? Uh, but actually, this should be wrapped around that way a little bit because it, it's going to kind of fold over just because of the way... Yes, there is. Shut up. Uh, just because of the way there, that it is, like the way that it wraps around. So it'll be... Oh my god. So it'll just be kind of hinted at right there. But I might need to make it smaller first. And now we do that. Now it is just a hint on the other side. And then we repeat the process. We do two more circles. We're gonna do a smaller circle on this side. That, that's not, thank you. Hmm. Okay, look, this is a little harder than I thought it'd be. I don't understand why making circles. Why is this the hardest part? Why why is this the hardest part? <laughs> oh my gosh. I do not understand why drawing circles 
is legitimately the hardest part. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, well, let's see. Let's, hmm, how, how do I want to do this? Why is this the hard thing for me? Okay. All right. Perspective and distortion is a bitch for circles. You know what? That is absolutely fair and correct. Okay. Uh, okay. Hold on. So let's map out the outsides first, I think. Maybe that will make it easier. Okay. Uh, okay. So I know that this, the moon wants to be in the, actually, okay. Now that I think about it, right? No. That'd be weird, because that's a crescent moon right there, and he wants all the phases of the moon. So, hmm. Okay, so I do know for a fact that I want this here, right? That That is a fact. I do want that there. That is why. I hit the lasso tool. That is where I need that to be. That is accurate. Yes. Now... Hmm. Maybe I dip it just slightly right there to make it look like it's folding where the armor folds. Like from head on, it would look like straight up, but since it's not, maybe that will help me with my brain set a little bit. Okay, and then... I think we have to work on the left side first just to make my my brain work better with it. Why did it turn sideways? I don't use this tool often enough, can you tell? Okay, so right about there and then, oh, nope, there we go, this way. We'll make it a tad bit smaller and put it this way. Okay. Could the full moon not be eclipsed to kind of double as a full and new moon? Could the full moon not be eclipsed? So, like, hold on. My brain is not comprehending that. I know what an eclipse is, and I think I know what you're trying to go for, but I'm. Hmm. So, like, almost just kind of like with a ring around it? No, not like that. So like if I'm if I'm picking up what you're putting down, it'd be like just like a ring. Is that I mean ultimately, yeah. Um I figure I'll just do like the base phase of the moon for now. Ring in the middle and a dart. Yeah, okay, that's what I figured you were talking about. Okay, so I'm glad I was visualizing that correctly. Um, definitely, ultimately, up to him. I feel like this is a safe move for now. Okay, now I figured out why it freaking turns sideways. That's good to know. Okay. Bring that down just a smidgen. Make it smaller. Bring it down just a smidge more. Make it a little bit smaller. Okay, because the vibe we're going for is that there's distance. Yep, okay. And then other side, this is going to be the more circular side because it's more head-on. Still make it a little bit ovally. And then we'll take it, we'll move it this way. The turn is not going to be as dramatic because it's on the side that's facing the viewer a little bit more. Circle in the middle of the dark. Light our outer ring. Yeah. Move this closer. Turn that just a bit. Okay, and then one more which will be the one with the crescent in it. It's still gonna be a little bit funky shaped, just because. And then we move this 
Ah, no, don't get bigger. Get smaller. Move you slightly up. Actually, it would make more sense to make this one less ovally. Ah! No, I don't want to select anything. I want to make a freaking circle. Oh no, yeah. It's still going to be pretty, pretty ovally. Cool. Uh, both the tired parent brains. So uh, yes, fair enough. <laughs> I feel like that might be a little too ovally. So let's... Because that one in the middle is mostly round, so... I'll make you like that. I'll select you. Make you a tad bit smaller. Can we... Thank you. Right there. And then repeat. Make you a tad bit smaller, move you up here, and then repeat. Make you a little oval, just only slightly. Ah! Eh. Yeah, I definitely needed to start with the left so my brain could handle it properly. All right, cool. All righty, now that we've finally gotten that in a way that my brain actually likes. Oh, thank you for following, Dragon Wolf. I appreciate it. Okay, so now what do we do. If we can make a freaking. Oh my goodness. I can do it. I know I can do it. All right. Half moon. Oh, thanks for the raid, Griff. I appreciate it. I imagine. Let me see here. And then it'd be like that. For a third a third's moon. How was your guys' stream? Oh, I forgot to do shout outs. How dare I? I'm not gonna make Griff shout out himself either. So <laughs> Biggest is just in everybody's chat. <laughs> That's so sweet of him. Uh... Yay. And then... I forgot to shout out... I forgot to shout out um, Nova as well. My bad. <laughs> Foe was also there. Everyone was there. Okay. Alright. Phil, Phil, Phil. Phil, goddammit. Phil, Phil. Ah! Wrong Phil! Oh, wait, I know what happened. Hi, friendo. How was your stream? How was, uh, how was being a pirate? Hopefully good, as per usual. Alrighty. Let's fuck things up with the blending tool. Actually, that's giving it a nice effect. fun good I'm glad you had fun chaotic as hell in the best ways good that's the way being a pirate should be excellent excellent good 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 yes 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 
Ninja Cleaves were here, I'd go into Valley Girl ASMR mode. But it does not seem like he is, so I think I'm safe. Watch, he pops in like, said, someone say Ninja Cleaves? <laughs> What should I do for the other part of the moon? No, I'm not going to do anything for the other part of the moon. I think that looks badass just in general. And then we fill that part in. We do the same thing. I mean, he should have come with us. Uh, well, he hasn't said anything yet. So for now, we're not going to engage Valley Girl ASMR mode. <laughs> the minute he makes an appearance, Valley Girl ASMR shall be engaged. <laughs> Let's see. Now we make it look. Ooh! We can. Eh. I'm normal. But I appreciate the compliment. You're, a, you're more of a badass than I am. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. <laughs> cool. Uh, just say... <laughs> just say ninjackles. <laughs> it's likely to summon him for correct pronunciation. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do that to him, though. <sighs> Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and add some darker splotches. I don't know what the moon specifically in Arcadia looks like, but we're gonna give it some, some craters, a couple scars. Gonna make it look like Mars. <laughs> I certainly hope that Who Am I Again doesn't ask me to redo the faces of the moon. <laughs> because, um, this is the most detailed part of his freaking outfit. <laughs> oh, gosh. I hope he likes it. Okay, let's try to make the moon as consistent as we possibly can. you. I am trying very hard. <laughs> I want them to look nice. Ah, fuck. make this a fucking redeem <laughs> well like hey everyone thank you for coming to my stream I appreciate the fact that you're all here and um, that you're willing to watch me do art um, today we are we're drawing <laughs> I love this so much uh, we're, we're drawing Nero from the smoking dragons <laughs> Uh, and to be fair, like these moons, they are they are pretty um they're pretty good. I like them. Um they're super Gucci, possibly even a little um Louis Vuitton, but um I think I think we've done some good here. I think we've really ooh, look at her pop, look at her go. Oh, we appreciate this in in design, right? Um But now, god damn it, we have to do it all on the fucking pauldrons too. Uh so you know, I think we're just gonna make like a full moon on the pauldrons and that will be 
how we do that. Uh, we're not on the right color. God damn it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's all coming up snatched. Do you guys like Mean Girls? I have seen that movie like so many times. And um, I really, really identify with Regina George, you know, um, just being able to be a massive jerk is the best thing in the world, you know? Um, I know, it's so fetch. Thank you for understanding me, Ninja Cleese. <laughs> this art, uh, I, I do think it is pretty snatch. Um, considering uh, I did I did all of this just tonight um, I think that I'm doing pretty good for myself actually um, I'm not even gonna like no she no chicken <laughs> it's too weird and I don't like it How about we just switch to normal ASMR mode? How about that? We'll uh, we'll cut the difference. We'll split it, the difference, and we'll, it'll just be me normal talking with the ASMR voice. How about that? Does that sound better to you? Uh, better to you, Straw? Um, I certainly hope it does because that's what we're going with for now. <laughs> oh, that's Quitter Talk. Well, unfortunately, the people have spoken. <laughs> the people have spoken <laughs> I like I I'm not exactly sure why people like this so much however <laughs> I am happy for you I'm happy for your happiness and um, if this <laughs> Well, you're just learning all the things about me, aren't you? Oh, someone is so dirty learning all the things about Agent Hack slash Mythos. Oh my gosh, you lucky, lucky devil. I'm sure that Mrs. Quish would be just as appreciative of my voice. She'd probably be super hardcore laughing right now because this is the best voice ever. Um, and I think that maybe you should, um, in the wise words of God, I wanted to say it was like Buddha or something, check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> oh, he doesn't know, Ninja Cleese, he doesn't know. Um, so the reason that the ASMR happens in the first place <laughs> The reason that the ASMR happens in the first place when Ninja Cleese is around is because <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> See, Biggest backs me up. Uh, he knows that I know all of the, the hot Buddha quotes. But the reason that this AM ASMR thing is a thing when Ninja Cleese is in my chat is because <laughs> we broke Mythos. <laughs> I love this so much. I'm having so much fun. Um, <laughs> when I was barely starting streaming up a couple months ago ninja cleese would always be in my chat and one night i had to be like super quiet uh because bruce had just fallen asleep and i didn't want to wake him up so i like super engaged the asmr voice and it was very nice it was very quiet it was very calm this is essentially what we had going on when we were doing the asmr voice when bruce what had just fallen asleep and so this is what we went with for quite a while and he told me I, I was his fa <laughs> his favorite ASMR streamer and he would come in and he would joke about this every single time he came into my chat and I loved it but recently 
uh, recently I did a Valley Girl ASMR just cause um, I thought it was funny. I did it as a joke and people actually really seem to like it. <laughs> And I don't exactly get why. Um, maybe it's because I say super stupid stuff, uh, much like my one true and savior, uh, Paris Hilton. Oh, you thought, well, no, I don't think you were joking about liking my ASMR voice. I do think, however, that you were joking about liking my Valley Girl ASMR because that was just really funny. Um, it, it just became a joke that you can't come in and be like, oh, it's my favorite ASMR streamer. Um, I, if that wasn't a joke, that's actually very sweet. And um, our one true savior, Paris Hilton. Yes, exactly. Uh, Paris Hilton, uh, she was a, she's a very prolific lady person who was famous for being rich, uh, much like Kim Kardashian. Uh, every time I live, you bloody... <laughs> right, I completely, I completely forgot. I'm very sorry, Lone. I'm not trying to make this hard for you. I'm not trying to make this hard for you. It's not very Kim K of me. Um, but there are so many, there are so many people in America that are just famous for being rich. It's very difficult to keep up. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you're learning about the most serious American culture. <laughs> I just need you all to know that my ribs hurt from laughing so much and I love you all for it. <laughs> Jokes on you alone. They've got like 12 cars. That's going to take you a really long time. I mean, that's like what, like eight pairs of tires, obviously. Like that, that is a lot of tires. It's gonna take you a very long time. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. all smell like too much money um kim kardashian has this sister named chloe kardashian and apparently she's very popular um she is apparently also like a super entre entrepreneur and she makes like she makes makeup that's super overpriced and apparently not very much worth it but people still buy it anyway um <clears throat> i digress um oh my gosh but um but yes, so there's there's a lot of them. Uh, it's a crazy world that there's something. That is a very accurate, Griff. That is so accurate. You are you're you are very full of all of the wisdom, and that's why I'm glad that you're one of my mods. <sighs> I think I may have started some discourse in my chat. Oopsie. <sighs> Although it is good to know that our friends overseas are going to help really show Kim K and her beloved family the word of the outside world so they can help everyone 
make good informed fashion decisions because that is my oh this hurts my soul this it, that's my true passion in life to make sure that everyone is just full of fashion and joy in their life and uh, oh that hurts me um but yes uh it, it is my one true calling uh to do that the the war paint of peacetime oh I always thought of it as the war uh, war paint for when you're trying to find yourself a good man. You know what I mean? Like you, you put on that Fenty and you snatch yourself a man who has a th fat wallet and probably also a fat stomach. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you got to do what you got to do, hon. I am a prophet, all right, for the true, the true women of entrepreneurship, such as Khloe Kardashian and um, Paris Hilton, and perhaps even um, the lead singer from Pink, because I can't think of any other super rich ladies. <laughs> I know I'm breaking character just a little bit, but like legit, those are the only two that I really know about. <sighs> yes, the lead singer from Pink is named Pink. You are correct. <laughs> Ooh, Gunpla, nice. I'm sorry, I, I don't know what a gunplay is. Is that something that you put in your shoes? Is that a type of shoe? Oh, that sounds like such a great... Mm, I, mm, the things you do for entertainment. Ugh. Well, guys, I think I'm going to go like um, uh, turn this back over to my much more boring area of my sister. Okay, bye. Uh, okay, I can't do that anymore. I'm so sorry. That was hurting my soul uh, just a little bit. It was it was fun while it lasted, but then I realized that I can't hold up hold up scrutiny on that for too long. So now we're gonna do this. <coughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Whew. Oh. What? How did I do this wrong? Oh, I see what I did. Okay. My soul vacated like 10. <laughs> she had to go to Starbucks. <laughs> My soul vacated 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Look. Uh, that's... Uh, <clears throat> I suppose we should give her a name, shouldn't we? She's appeared more times than I'd feel comfortable with, but we should give her a name. That's only right. What do we think? Like Tiffany? Sandra? I don't know. Also, that's a little too dark for that area. Tiffany. All right, Tiffany it is. That did the opposite effect. Wait. I'm missing something here. What am I missing? Hmm. I've done something and I don't know what I've done. Hold on. We're going to do a little bit of erasing. Oh, it's just because we're on the wrong layer. Okay, that's understandable. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm going to do that because doing Tiffany... Um, Tiffany is interesting. <laughs> Tiffany gets to be a channel redeem. <laughs> okay, so let's erase the shading right here. Yes! Oh, gosh. Okay. We gotta do a different color to shade on these areas. Okay. We're just kind of 
fucking throwing shading all over the place earlier, weren't we? Okay. <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. And now, now my uh, voice gets to recover from fucking Tiffany. Uh, let's do... Let's make this brush bigger. Because this is... This part's cloth, so this has to be slightly different. Yes. Uh, oh, I forgot about Miley Cyrus. God damn it. Sparkling dew from the meadow, but most people just call me Sparky. I love you. <laughs> I'll give you this, but I just don't despise Pokemon. <laughs> Tiffany gets to stay, but Pomon, nah. <laughs> uh, soul godness. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, yes. So apparently, Nightbot's probably going to be haranguing you all with the... I'm going to get a magic track if I have to make it myself. <laughs> Griff caught Tiffany, too. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but uh, Nightbot's probably going to yell at us about my Discord link in a minute, uh, because the timing is just kind of weird for the notifications. Uh, the link, apparently I did a stupid somewhere. Um, it is fixed now, so... I have tried to do a valley girl accent. It's okay, you don't have to. Let me, oh, hey, see, you can do something that I can't. Absolutely slay. <laughs> uh, Sarge is having entirely too much fun. I'm gonna have to blend these shadows right here to make it look a little bit more convincing. Nope, that's the spray. <laughs> there we go and then we blend this bit a little bit still needs to be a harsh line but not uh, did I end up making it too soft no that's still that's still a pretty hard line I'd say Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty. So let's we'll buff these out just a smidge. Make it look a little bit more natural, I think. Alrighty. And let's add some shadow over here. On these fingies. You did already sign in blub. Uh, the soup, the soup pope uh, doesn't, we don't, it's no take backsies, unfortunately. You are stuck here. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, thankfully, uh, being part of the soup cult does not necessarily mean that you have to take on a valley girl persona. Um, that is not required of being in the soup cult. So you're still safe. What is Oh, yeah. That's just a part that I forgot to I forgot to accent. There. Cool. That gets to it. It is however highly encouraged. That is true. That is very accurate. Thank you. Let's see. Oh god. Oh. Alrighty. That's the shading, that's the moons. Okay. Go back to this. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna have to do some shading over there as well. Let's 
Why did I make it so small? Let's fix that immediately. Doing all of this shading and blending and shading and blending. <laughs> okay. Well, when the day comes where you want to develop your own valley girl uh, and rise the ranks of the soup cult, then uh, we, we welcome it with open arms. In the meantime, you just get to enjoy delicious soup. <laughs> okay, is that enough shadow for that part? For that part, yes. We need to add some more up here, though. bit right there then blend that out okay then this is a raised lip which means there's got to be some shadow right here Although, we do need to taper this a bit. There we go. Soup. Yes, soup cult. Soup cult. Soup cult. Uh, it's also a book club. Um, it is called Literary Soup. Understandable. That's how we get most of our members. We get most of our members because they're hungry. Um, we take them in, we give them literature, and then they can't leave. That's, that is the way that generally works, so. Wow, I was really light-handed on the shading earlier, wasn't I? And we gotta fix that shit immediately. Oh no, wait, I've just blended it out. That's what it is. Uh, da, 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 da. Was that it for the black? I think that was it for the black. Let me see. Hmm, I feel like with the way that that sleeve is done, I need to add a little bit more to his arm. But aside from that, I think we should be good. Let's add a little bit more shading to his arm. And then we'll do shading on the silvery bits. Uh... Oh yeah, that's true. Um, I'm absolutely gonna cook like awesome food. You were gonna be part of the soup cult whether you wanted to be or not. You know this to be true. We're friends. You're stuck with me. Okay. Yes, I like that. Okay. That makes me feel a little bit better about the whole thing. Let's do some shading for the gray bits. Mm. Let's do that gray, I think. And then 
we'll lower the opacity a bit, but just a little bit. Even worse than friends, chosen family, yep. yep. Because those are the ones that you wanted, and then they force you into a soup cult and make you have valley girl accents. But you love it. You love it. There we go. And then do. Oh, no. I fucked up. Okay, there's that for that, and then we just need to do some for these moons right here. Let's lower that. Nope, nope, almost. Go. Add a little bit of a shadow right there just to make it look like it's from the armor. Then we blend away our sins. Almost done. We just have some shading to do up here a bit. We're still on blend. Let's fix that. Uh, da -da -da -da. Then just a smidge over here, a little bit right there. Small line right there. That needs to be shaded. That needs to be shaded. This needs to be shaded. There and there and there and there. And there. Along the rivets. Right here, all of this, and then blend that shit out because that is a softer fabric than the rest of the armor. Cool, cool. I wonder if 97 would be happy to have missed the Valley Girl ASMR. <laughs> All right. And then down here, this needs to be shaded. Excellent. All right. We got to shade his fucking skin. How dare I blend away our sins if this is the Soup's of Colford Punk album. Yes. Blend away our sins. Get on that. I believe in you, cult members. Make us some badass uh, punk music about <laughs> blending away our sins. Uh, okay, then we got a shade shift just a smidge. And then shade Nero's face. Actually, no. We don't do that here. How dare I? I'm messing up the natural order of things. We do that down here. That way we don't mess with the line art. Silly me. How dare I. <laughs> Wanna marry the valley girl. 
some for the Adam's apple just for dimension some right there shade down here because it's in the power armor realize you messed up a little bit go back and try again blend away our sins da -da 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 -da. Uh, and then it's highlight time, ladies and gents. Let's see. Oh, that's just the new layer. Okay. That's time for highlighter. Tiffany would be proud. Okay, so we turn on the ad glow. And then we start to do some stuff. So we're going to make this a bit smaller so that adding glow is not a ridiculous chore. Uh... Oh, right. I forgot. It likes to be pedantic. Uh... It'll only let you do it on, like, particular areas, which is annoying. That doesn't get any glow because it's not metal. And then... Ah! This can get a little bit of glow right there. Nope. Don't cross the line. Shine right here. Shine up these rivets a little bit. Do a little bit of glint off of here. Here's the fun part. Brush size lower. And every single one of these gets some shine. This gets some shine right here. This gets some shine right here. moons are metal but they are not shining because I'm not on the right layer but I feel like that's pretty good let's shine that up give this a little bit of shine hmm I feel like maybe we can no Yes, that's better. And then some shine right here. Yes, 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 yes. And then last but not least, some shine on the eyes.
Excellent. Alrighty. I think this is what I'm going to send to Who Am I again. See if he likes it. See if there's any changes that need to be done. I'm not sure if he'll get back to me really quickly. Hmm. Well, we can always try. And then possibly... Hmm. Hold on. Let me... I'm gonna edit the canvas size for just a second so I can just send a picture of him real quick. Okay. I'm gonna undo it, don't worry. But, uh... Cool. All right. So uh, here is our final, assumingly anyway, our final Nero product. And uh, perhaps I think I'm going to take a quick break just so I can stretch and send this to him and see what he thinks. Um, I actually have a new thing where you guys can play tic-tac-toe if you want to. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to pop you guys over there real quick while I take a quick bathroom break and I'll be right back. For the record, you have to type exclamation mark training and then whatever number is corresponding to the box.
Alrighty, I return. Just in time for a game to be over too, so that works out. Sorry, big guess. Didn't mean to cut you off. Alrighty. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait on him to ba get back to me about on if that's good or not. In the meantime, we can start Phenos. Let's see here. Oh, Clip Studio. Clip Studio, why are you freaking out again? No, don't do this to me. Clip Studio. What are you? Oh, there we go. Why'd you take forever to pop up? What the hell? I was kicking its ass. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not planning on getting rid of that uh that widget, so it'll it'll be there next time, I promise. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alrighty. So Mr. Finos. What do we got for you? Okay, so. All right, writing in white doesn't generally work. So let's, there we go. So, ah, the opacity is still at half. Oops, there we go. And, uh, okay, so, Phenos Bala. It doesn't tell me what his race is. Um, let me see. We're just gonna put a bunch of question marks. Cause I mean, I've watched it, so I know, but still. Um, okay. So, skin tone is a bluish gray oh my god my eraser's so tiny why did I do this to myself bluish gray let's make my eraser slightly bigger there we go um hair none um including eyebrows uh, let's see has a magical aura I'm not sure how I'm supposed to depict that so for now we're gonna ignore it um let me see body type Slim, but fit. Um, personality, so he's an anxious little bean. Um, pointed features. Okay. Um, oh, yes. Let me erase this. Bluish, bluish is how I'm writing that apparently. Uh, bluish gray eyes. So he's got like one color palette. Not too horrible, but uh, interesting to say the least. Now, when I messaged him a million years ago, he told me some extra stuff that I cannot remember. So let me hunt that down for just a second. Uh, da, da, da. Yes. Okay. Um. So like. Uh. Flashy. 
wizard's robes. Um, let's see. And the thing is, when he when he sent me when he sent me a picture, it seems to be a bathrobe with a bunch of like galaxies on it. Like you know those um. You know those, like, tights that have the cats in space? It kind of reminds me of that. Um, let me see here. So, I mean, that sort of pattern mixed with, like, some drapery. Seems like what he's going for. Uh, glowy outline? Possibly. That could work. Sorry, I was in a different screen getting the description, so. Okay. Um, when Rico was telling me about him, he was telling me that he looks like a blue elf, sort of, just with no hair. So, oh, there it is. Thank you, Nightbot, for finally bringing up the Discord. There is a Discord. The link is in the chat. So, he's a slim dude. Let's... Let's at least get his layout done, like his his outline, I think, like a like a good little sketch or something. And then after that, he didn't tell me how tall he was. Oh well, um, we'll just go with what we've got for now. And then, if and when he's feeling better, I'll just uh, send him a little little cheeky message and be like, "Hey, you think that uh, this is good? You need anything changed?" He has sharp features, so I'm not gonna give him like a like a square chin. I'm gonna give him a pointy chin. Oh god. <laughs> That's a little too pointy. Um, there we go. How did I do this? What the hell? Am I doing it too? Oh, I think I see what I'm doing. Hold on. I'm just going to, uh, there we go. <laughs> I was just going a little too ham with it. I want to be able to open cans with this pointy chin. <laughs> just pop that shit open. Stab a can like you're packing. Bam. Or you're packing like you're um, camping. That's what I meant to say. Better. I like that. Okay. And then he's a nervous little dude. Anxious little bean, as it were. So let's. Hmm. Maybe with him, we make him stooping a little bit. Just make him look a little nervous, you know what I mean? So he's got the ears, right? And then make this a little bit like that. And then it looks like he's kind of stooping a little bit because he's nervous. Maybe. Now, I don't know what to do with his arms, which is what every anxious person says about themselves. Huh. Hmm. Anxious. Maybe I just give him like a super stiff pose. That is probably actually going to be the shape of his head. Um. Just like hands at his sides, anxious dude, doesn't know what life is, doesn't know the meaning of relaxation. Okay, I am, nope, there's something I'm messing up here and I need to fix it real quick. Because these angles are off by just a bit. 
that's not quite right either because nope okay so because his shoulder okay so his shoulder should be coming up over here if i want him to look like he's stooping so which means the shoulder needs to be a bit lower i think Try that, see how that looks. No, that's his shoulder looks too high now. Hmm. It's probably just because of the way I've drawn it. Hold on. Am I getting too ambitious with this pose? Possibly. His chest is up there, and let's see, his back comes that way, that makes him a little too thick. He said slim. Oh, I think that was it, I was just making him too bulky. Coming off of drawing Nero and chips, I'm just like, all the bulk, and he's like, no, 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 I'm a slim little dude. Uh, but that still doesn't seem quite right. Does the arm placement help it? No, I think I'm just gonna nix this shoulder idea. Just super straight shoulders. Can't be too bulky, otherwise Crazy Joe won't be able to climb up on it. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I gotta climb him like the tree. Looks like somebody wants to climb. All right. So ah, still on eraser. So let's instead of doing the shoulder thing, we're just gonna give him a nice stiff pose with a nervous-looking face. <laughs> Gotta make sure that our shoulders are lined up. Most wizards are squishy. That's true. You're not most wizards, though, however. Sigib is fucking tanky as hell for some reason. Oh, yeah, that's fair. I mean, spellcasters. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I wrote like shit when I was doing when I was doing character creation. And then I got luck and it's been wonderful ever since for the most part. Hmm. Gotcha. Let's 
Gotcha, gotcha. I'm thinking about putting a little bit of uh, a little bit a little bit of Iris's level up points into um, into strength. I'm not sure quite yet, but. Just make her a fucking bulky ass bard. The wizard's robes are probably going to block the, like, sugar glider thing he's got going on with his arm. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. Mm, I'm trying to get feet thinking. Yeah, that's true. You could do that. steal another magical item. It just gives me strength instead. His chin's a bit big. Or I could lower this a bit. No, yeah, that matches up. Okay. That'll work. Nope, I've been doing that on a separate layer. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is on the right one. Nope, don't get there. There we go. doing like the round part of the head it's always the hardest part circles are hard guys You know, this actually gives him, like, just enough of, like, an unnatural sharpness that I actually kind of like. So I think I'm going to keep that. It's, like, almost too perfect, you know? Like, it's almost too straight. I kind of like that. So I'll keep it.
Okay, eraser. I guess we're stopping there. My eraser was just like, you, you're not going to draw the line any further than right here. I was like, all right, cool. I'm actually very happy with the first iteration of this coming out, which is usually, I, you know, I move shit around or I clean stuff up and realize I want to do something different, but like, I'm actually pretty happy with this pose. It's a simple yet effective pose. And then we can give him a face like, <laughs> just, you know, to home in the fact that he is anxious bean TM. Excellent, excellent. I did not think that would take as short of a time as it did. Happy Homestuck Day. Uh, well, happy Homestuck Day to you too. Um, I, funnily, funnily enough, I have never, I've never read it. However, I do know who Riska is. And uh, I will remember that. <laughs> Hope you're having a good time. We're just drawing some D&D characters. Welcome to high heaven. Um, let's see. Next layer, next layer. It'd be funny if they popped in and said that and left. Oh, thank you for following. I appreciate that. Hopefully you enjoy your time in high heaven. Um, Okay, let's see, facial features. Since his head's kind of tilted down a little bit, I guess. I was unaware that today was Homestuck Day, but uh, now we know. Because Cole told us. <laughs> you fear it. <laughs> uh, every sane person would fear Homestuck Days. Uh, I've, watched, I've watched some deconstructions and stuff of Homestuck and whatnot. And I mean, I gotta say, like, the the whole thing seemed pretty, like, a pretty interesting subject. It just kind of sucks that it imploded the way that it did, you know what I mean? I understand it less than Warhammer lore. That's saying something. Warhammer lore is a uh, hardcore. Oh my goodness. Let's see, so... He's bald. I don't even need to draw hair on this man. This works. Oh my God. Okay. So Phoenix always struck me as like the, like wide eyed and bushy tailed sort of person. So let's, let's, let's give him some, some bigger eyes. Round that shit out. So it looks a little bit more masculine. Oh shit. Gotta tilt my screen a little bit so I get this right. Okay, so let's tilt this. You guys can't see it, but I am currently physically tilting my screen instead of just turning it slightly on the on the digital thing because uh I'm an old school artist at heart, which means that uh, you just turn your physical medium and there you go. There we go. And, ah, don't do that. Okay, let's flip it just to make sure it looks at least somewhat okay. Actually, that looks really good. Okay. Warhammer lore. There's so much Warhammer lore that's going on. <laughs> C 
See now, if I could give him eyebrows, right, then I'd do like the the nervous thing going. But um, I guess I'll just have to give him too big of a smile and then just use the shadows from eyebrows to <laughs> express the nervousness. That'll have to do for now. Phenos is the one I have like the least ideas about, but I'm trying. Okay, actually, you know, ugh, I think I'm gonna wait until he can be around because I feel like he'll be able to give me better direction on it. Uh, just be, being able to look at it, you know, and I don't want to make him look like a maniac. I just, I want him to look nervous. You know what I mean? So I think for now we are going to, we're going to save this as it is. Um, Phenos Forest. And I think we're going to be good for now, I think. Um, so thank you all for hanging out with me. I, for new people people who've been here, people who had to suffer through Tiffany. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful night. Uh, as Cole Rains said, <laughs> happy Homestuck Day, I guess. Um, and uh, I'm the High Seraph. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a blessed night. Bye. Oh, let's let's raid someone real quick, actually. Let's, let's see if there's anyone to raid. Uh, if there is, then we will raid. Sweet dreams. Let's see, who are we raiding? Uh, nope, there's no one to raid. Okay, night. <laughs>